Olana is a magical world. When I think of Olana, I, I think in terms of Central Park and creating art out of nature. And I think Olana, you can think of it and its landscape uh, very much in that tradition. Frederick Church's story extends beyond the borders of Olana. We know that he was the Parks Commissioner at one point in Central Park. We also know that with Olmsted and Vox and others, he championed cr the creation of the first state park in New York, the Niagara Reservation, which was a designed landscape around a wilderness natural wonder. And it was arguably the prelude to the National Parks Movement. Olana is incredibly significant as one of the most important picturesque style landscapes in the United States. And what makes it most exciting, I think, is the fact that Church was involved in the design of the house, the design of the landscape, used the site as his painting studio, and considered his landscape design one of uh, his great works. Starting about 10 years ago was when our major initiatives towards restoring the entire 250 acres started. We uh, had to start with the main house and the actual buildings, but at the same time, we knew that we needed to tackle the landscape as well. What we see in front of us here is Mount Marino. Two years ago, you would not have seen a church deliberately had this whole area open so that you could see Mount Marino, which was revered as a favorite spot for many of the Hudson River School painters. It's a 250-acre design composition, and the composition consists of orchards, the farm, more than five miles of carriage drives, pastures, meadows, woodlands, and it was all designed around its views, what, what we call the Olana Viewshed today. Over the past 20 years, we have had to work hard with our neighbors and colleagues to ensure that this view shed is protected. As a designed historic landscape, Olana is in terrible condition. The great thing about Olana is that it's largely intact and can be restored. And as a public resource, it should be restored. really look at this with such excitement, the actual restoration being the hard but exciting work, almost an open canvas for us to interpret and share the excitement about this integration of art, landscape, architecture, and conservation. The story is all right here. It is our mandate to teach these theories and ideas to the next generation.